as we prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. Let us call to mind. First reading, a reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. God's justice that was made known through the law and the prophets has now been revealed outside the law, since it is the same justice of God that comes through faith to everyone, Jew and pagan alike, who believes in Christ Jesus. Both Jew and pagan sinned and forfeited God's glory and both are justified through the free gift of his grace by being redeemed in Christ Jesus, who was appointed by God to sacrifice his life so as to win reconciliation through faith. In this way, God makes his justice known. First, for the past, when sins went unpunished because he held his hand. Then, for the present age, by showing positively that he is just and that he justifies everyone who believes in Jesus. So what becomes of our boasts? There is no room for them. What sort of law excludes him? The sort of law that tells us what to do. On the contrary, it is the law of faith, since, as we see it, a man is justified by faith and not by doing something the law tells him to do. Is God the God of Jews alone and not of the pagans too? Of the pagans too, most certainly, since there is only one God. The word of the Lord. The response to the psalm is, With the Lord there is mercy and fullness of redemption. With the Lord there is mercy and fullness of redemption. Out of the depths I cry to you, O Lord. Lord, hear my voice. Oh, let your ears be attentive to the voice of my pleading. With the Lord there is mercy and fullness of redemption. If you, O oh Lord, should mark our guilt, Lord, who would survive? But with you is found forgiveness, for this we revere you. With the Lord there is mercy and fullness of redemption. My soul is waiting for the Lord. I count on his word. My soul is longing for the Lord, more than watchman for daybreak. With the Lord there is mercy and fullness of redemption. Alleluia, alleluia. Your precepts, O Lord, are all of them sure. They stand firm forever and ever. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said, Alas for you who build the tombs of the prophets, the men your ancestors killed. In this way you 
both witness what your ancestor did and approve it. They did the killing, he did the building. And that is why the wisdom of God said, I will send them prophets and apostles, some they will slaughter and persecute, so that this generation will have to answer for every prophet's blood that has been shed since the foundation of the world. From the blood of Abel to the blood of Zechariah, who was murdered between the altar and the sanctuary. Yes, I tell you, this generation will have to answer for it all. Alas for you, lawyers, who have, been t who have taken away the key of knowledge. You have not gone in yourselves and have prevented others going in who wanted to. When he left the house, the scribes and the Pharisees began a furious attack on him and tried to force answers from him on innum innumerable questions, setting traps to catch him out in something he might say. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. I had a wedding in St. John's about maybe three weeks ago. It was a travelling community wedding. And it was delayed by about an hour and a half, which is not uncommon within those, those celebrations. So I was resigned to the fact that my afternoon was over. After the wedding, this guest came to me and he said, I'm not a Catholic. I'm a Baptist. And I said, that's nice. And I said to him, I think, you know, we share a great deal of our faith. He said, I think not. I said, I'm sorry, I think we believe that there's one God. Um, he has his son, our Lord Jesus Christ, who came to save us and died for us upon the cross. He said, yes, we believe that, but in a different way. And I was a bit taken aback. And I said, well, I'm sure that we can find some mutual agreement. Again, he said, I think not. He said, Romans 3, chapter 21 to 30. And I knew then exactly what he was referring to. He said, you believe that you can be saved by faith and good works? I said, yes. He said, well, we believe that we can be saved by faith alone based upon the writing in this morning's first readings from Romans chapter 3, where we hear those words which says, On the contrary, it is the law of faith, since as we see it, a man is justified by faith and not doing something the law tells him to do. Many of the religions that take that belief that we can be saved by faith alone, justify their beliefs from that sentence in Scripture. But of course, Scripture is so much bigger than just that one sentence. All we have to do is to look at the ministry and the life of Christ, and also in his works, that we too are called to follow like him, to have faith, but also to ensure that we practice good works. We know of many people who have deep faith, but are actually quite cold to the needs of others. And I think that's where there is a deep contradiction between us and our Catholic faith and some other Christian traditions. But I'm sure that my friend who I met at that wedding was maybe touched by my sense of strength in the faith that I professed, as I was in his, although we failed to agree. He said that he would love to meet me again to discuss such matters. I was sort of hoping that we wouldn't in a strange sort of way. So let us turn to the Lord with our prayers and petitions this day. Let us pray for the church, Lord of God's holy people, that we may walk in ways of faith and good works, knowing always that we do what the Lord has commanded us to do. Lord, in your mercy, hear our cry. We pray for our world and its many needs. We pray especially maybe at this time for the government leaders who will gather in Glasgow in a couple of weeks' time to discuss the needs of our world, especially in the events of climate change. 
go from us. Hear our prayer. We pray for ourselves and our journeys of faith, that we may know always of God's presence. Lord, God us. Hear our prayer. We pray for those who are sick, and those whose anniversaries, and those who are waiting there for procedures at this time. Lord, in your us. Hear We ask for the prayers of them. Mother of God, as we pray to you. Hail Mary, the grace of the Lord is with thee. Blessed thou art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, the Mother of God, pray for us sinners, and the hour of our death. Amen. We make these and all our prayers through Jesus Christ. Is Lord forever. Amen. Blessed are you, O God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to all, which earth has given unto human hands and made, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed are you, O God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to all, fruit of the vine worked with human hands, it will become our spiritual food. Brothers and sisters, that thy sacrifice and jewels may be made acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the Lord the prayers of your faithful and sacrificial offerings that through these acts of devotedness we may pass over to the glory of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Lord, you and with your spirit, lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him the great guidance, goodness, you formed it in you. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed who praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore we too, extol you the angels, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of us, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the lands. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holiness in his gifts we pray, by sending down the Spirit upon them like the Jew, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up.
in a similar way, when Sutton was ended, he took the chance. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chance of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal heart, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I must pray that you should enter that fire, but only say the word of my soul.
pray together back to spiritual healing, joining those who are joining us remotely today. By Jesus, we which you are present in the most holy sacrament of the altar, and of your love all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since many cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, firmly spiritually into their hearts, we embrace you as if you were there already, and unite ourselves wholly to you. Never permit us to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. We entreat your majesty, most heavenly, O Lord, that as you feed us with the nourishment which comes from the most holy body and blood of your Son, so you may make us sharers in his divine nature, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is in